Five major rounds of talks over four decades have not managed to find any, any settlement on a federal basis. The two sides appear not to actually want it. The Turkish Cypriot side doesn't want it explicitly, and the Greek Cypriot side implicitly doesn't want it. Now, you could go on with the situation of de facto partition that has resulted from this sterile discussion of what this federal state would look like, but the cost deepens and the likelihood of it being reversed becomes even more uh, impossible. So, uh, at the end of the day, it's a question of when are you going to decide to fix this in a way that both peoples, uh, in, a, in a way that both peoples actually want to do it. And we're su we're suggesting that right now, at a time when there is still the Greek separate side still has leverage, when both sides really want a settlement, now is the time to unofficially, quietly discover what terms m might be on offer if there was such a, an, an independent Turkish separate state within the EU. The only time the Greek Cypriots have actually been asked squarely, do you accept a federal settlement, was in 2004. And at that time, the Greek Cypriots said, 76% of them said no. At that time, the UN Secretary General Kofi Annan said what was rejected was not just the Annan plan, but the, the idea of a federal solution itself. Now, one could go on with this current situation where the Greek Cypriots say they want a federal settlement, but then it proves that it seems that they will do, do very little that would make it happen. We think that uh, the time has come where the Greek Cypriots may be ready to let go of the idea that there can be a return to 1960 where everything, everyone will live together under one government, but they could possibly accept it as an idea that the two sides will now come together under one EU. If this would happen, an uh, independent Turkish Cypriot state within the EU, you would have the same currency, the same laws, the same norms and values, and um, a presumably, and I cannot imagine it being otherwise, a peaceful, open border between the two sides, which would very rapidly disappear in, in practice. And the re end result would be an island that was reunified in the EU.